The Reba Sterling Prize for Britain's best new building will be announced next week. The shortlist includes a footbridge in the southwest of England, a boat museum in the Lake District, and a university building in southwest London. Over the coming few days, we're going to look at each of the six buildings on the shortlist. Today, it's the Cambridge Central Mosque, which features geometric columns, timber trees, which form the structural support for the roof. When you enter this space, it feels very other and hopefully uplifting. I don't think as architects we can hope for anything more than that, really. My name is Julia Barfield. I'm one of the co-founders of Barks Barfield Architects, and we are the architects of the Cambridge Central Mosque. We hadn't designed a mosque before, so of course we did a lot of research to find out about mosque design throughout the world. And what we discovered was that historically and globally, mosques generally took on the character of the place that they were in and the time they were in. So what should a British mosque of the 20th century be like? David, my partner, was the one who came up with this idea of the glade of trees and the garden of paradise trees in this glade of trees became these structural trees. This is an entirely timber structural building. Timber is beautiful, it's very sustainable, but also it's got that connection with nature, which is in Islam very important. That's also one of the kind of features of this place is that you naturally somehow look up, <laughs> which seems appropriate for a sacred space. It's a space that's used by the whole community, not just the Muslim community. The idea is that the mosque is not just a place for worship. It's so lovely to see. There's that sense of pride and ownership from not just Muslims in Cambridge, but also the wider community too. You're sort of met with this immediate calm and sense of peace, and it's something that visitors get to experience once or twice if they visit, but something I get to experience every day, so it's just phenomenal. We've kept the energy usage down as much as possible, as well as trying to address embodied carbon in the choice of materials. All the rainwater is captured. It's used to flush the toilets and also to help water the garden. In a sense, we were trying to kind of combine the English sacred architecture with Islamic uh, traditions. We wanted to construct something that was a symbol of hope, that this difference is not just about problems of integration, but is about the inherent interest of bringing together different narratives, different civilizations, different ethnicities, languages, cultural communities. It's a kind of celebration of the very central contribution that Islam brings to the uh, rainbow diversity that is what makes modern Britain so fascinating. Muslim Islamic culture it has been part of British culture for so long, and I hope this building reaffirms that. It brings the two together. One of the contenders for the Reba Sterling Prize. We'll have more on that later. And for viewers in the UK, there will be live coverage of the awards ceremony here on the BBC News Channel on the 14th of October.